Dear friends in Jesus Christ, Today we are in the fourth Sunday of Advent, year C. In the last two Sundays, the center figure of the Gospel was St. John the Baptist. This Sunday, Mary is the center of attention in the Gospel. The first reading of today is taken from the book of Prophet Micah. At the end time of the exile, when there was a great hope of returning back to monarchy of King David, Micah writes these positive promises. The second reading from the book of Hebrews speaks about the sacrifice of Christ as offering of his body. Christ took a body so as to have an instrument by which to offer this perfect obedience to the will of God. I repeat, because it gives a perspective of incarnation. Christ took a body so as to have an instrument by which to offer this perfect obedience to the will of God. The Gospel from St. Luke provides the account of visitation. As we are in the final week of the Advent, it's supposed to be the Annunciation story to prepare ourselves. But there are only two Annunciation stories in the Gospels and both of them are read in the fourth Sundays of Advent, year A and year B. In this year C, the Church gives us the visitation of Mary to Elizabeth to reflect and to prepare ourselves. Mary goes in haste to visit her cousin Elizabeth. When Mary arrived, Elizabeth felt something extraordinary as John leaped in her womb. John and Elizabeth felt the first visit of Jesus. The prophecies, God would visit one day his people, is fulfilled now. And the same God is keep visiting us even today. How do we recognize him? Jesus was and is the good news, the gospel. When Mary visited Elizabeth in the form of Jesus, Mary carried the good news to Elizabeth. Dear brothers and sisters, whom do we visit today? Rich or poor? Affluent or needy? And what do we carry? Do we carry good news or hatred? Do we carry compassion or conflict? Do we carry kindness or aggression? Do we carry unity or or division. Mary visited the needy and carried the good news. Carrying the good news is the basic quality for discipleship of Christ. In the Gospel of today, Mary is been addressed as blessed three times. And this passage explains why Mary was called blessed. Why Mary is being declared as blessed? Mary is being declared as blessed because of her faith and obedience. On receiving the message about the birth of his son, Zechariah found it hard to believe. He thought that it would be impossible since both he and his wife were advanced in age. Mary was also confronted with the same message that she would become the mother of the Messiah. She does not react but limits herself to ask her doubt about her vocation to motherhood before marriage. After receiving the reply, Mary gives her humble and generous consent. She answers with great 
is Mary trusted the promises of God Mary believed that nothing is impossible for God that is her faith and obedience The gospel of today begins with the following words Mary set out and traveled to the hill country in haste The words haste quickly at once immediately are powerful words in the bible because they qualify the faith of the persons we read in the bible at once they left and followed jesus immediately levi got up and followed jesus zacchaeus immediately came down from the tree yes these words immediately quickly at once and in haste he express the depth of the faith and obedience to god if we don't act in haste what will happen surely god will make us to accept his will and his plan but how and when the story of the israelites wandering in the desert for 40 years will answer what will happen if we don't act in haste thus the act of mother mary to go in haste to visit elizabeth shows very vividly her strong faith and obedience to god and god's plan thus she is called blessed friends we are on the eve of christmas there is no time left for us can we prepare ourselves in haste to welcome the lord in our hearts and families how by visiting the needy and helpless by carrying the good news to everyone and of course in haste amen god bless you all